Good morning, everyone, from the great state of Texas. Today, I'm here at the Fort Worth Zoo. I've been here once. Molly, Clay, you guys have never, never. been here before. Never. I like the zoo quite a bit. Uh, Clay is occasionally in some videos. you got a, a background in zoology, so you'll bring yep. something a little bit more educational than my, oh, look, that's really cute. But I'm excited to be back here. There's some new exhibits since the last time I visited, and a little baby elephant. So let's go check out the Fort Worth Zoo. Let's kick off the tour by visiting Elephant Springs, a newer exhibit here at the zoo. I'm very happy we came here first. As you can see, the star of the zoo right now is that little fellow there. That is Baby Brazos. So at the time of recording, it's about a six-month-old Asian elephant. And just the cutest little thing. Oh, um, the Elephant Springs area, as you would expect, very, very nice with lots of water. And oh. Oh, oh. He's so cute. He's so small. Also, in Elephant Springs, there's an itty bitty tiny turtle. I'm having a hard time getting him on this rock. Yep. You can see a male elephant there off in the distance. Um, the Elephant Springs area is really nice. They have lots of different areas for the elephants, and they have a ton of Asian elephants at the zoo. Right nearby, the elephants, is the rhinoceros. And this a sleepy fella. But at least hanging out right next to the people. Also, if that greater one-horned rhinoceros wants to, there's a really, really nice pool if you go swimming in with a waterfall. Leg muscles stay nice and strong. Those joints stay area. nice and loose, and the Showing leg as a whole stays really flexible. And by picking up those feet every feet. single day, really high, that's a great this next section of the zoo is the African savanna. I mean, it's the big African savanna area, and stars over here would be the giraffes. You can feed them for six dollars if they're hungry. You also have ostrich roaming around. And I also like this. You have these guys in their own area that only they could get to. So like the giraffes can't get in here, but they can. And I'm not sure if they're bongos or something else, but. I like that. That's really neat. Kudu? That might be kudu. 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 The survey says kudu. Wandering around, you can see the black rhinoceros. Very, very pretty rhino. And pretty active. A lot of times you see the rhinoceros just kind of lying around. These have moving. They got a really great area for the hippopotamus. You can see him moving around underneath the water. He's going to pop up for us. Yep. The Savannah area is really cool. There's exhibits on the outside, and you pretty much walk all the way around the major Savannah area. Got some beer cats as well. This guy's right up next to me. And this is always fun for when you go to travel around to different zoos. They have a very large section of the zoo dedicated to animals from Texas here in the Texas wild area. They do have a small scale carousel where you should ride for a, a couple of bucks. And it's interesting too, because it's got like a like a stagecoach kind of thing. I haven't seen that on a carousel before. The Texas wild section of the zoo, there's a village area that's very well done. Uh, very much feels like, you know, a theme park. The down on the farm play barn seems very popular. Let's see what's inside. There's like slides and a jungle gym and lots of things for kids to play with. I'm going to try and get out of here as quickly as possible. Here we go. Clay is playing Polynesian Pink Linko. Not sure what I'm going to win, but... Yay! Yeah. I don't get the point of this. If you walk through the play barn, you do get to an animal section with some like domesticated farm animals. So you can see some chickens over here. Clay, I think you found the e-ticket bench here at the Fort Worth Zoo. And then there's more animals. You got oh, little rabbits. Oh, look how cute. Look Lion at how head. adorable. I had to get one more shot of these little bunnies. Look how, look how fluffy they are. Oh my goodness. Right next to the rabbits is guinea pigs. 
Obviously, you could have guinea pigs and rabbits as a pet, but I don't have either one, so I like seeing them. And this, my friends, is one chill looking goat. Yeah, wouldn't it be Texas without a shooting gallery? It looks like it's a dollar to play and you could shoot any of these guys. I personally like the one that's hanging from the ceiling. Let's go wander into the Texas Hall of Wonders. The Hall of Wonders is a cool building and it is home to something very unique. The Wild Weather Show. Uh, the show is very interesting, like animals pop up and you learn all about native creatures here in Texas and weather. It's now raining in here. All right, we gotta see what this is in here. Lift me up, and it's a raccoon. There's a raccoon under there. Living under the porch. Once you exit the Hall of Wonders, um, you're met with Texas animals, like the prairie dog, who's paired up with his buddy, the burrowing owl. Right by the prairie dogs and the burrowing owl is this guy here. He has no sign. No. So if you know what he is, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, quick update comment section. It is a green jay. We found the sign. It was on the other side. These are all Texas animals, but also ones native to uh, Florida, where we're all from. So you got the white-tailed deer, the sandhill crane, and the turkey. You've got an enclosure over here for the trumpeter swan. A big, beautiful nest it made for itself. And uh, if you're curious why the camera's so shaky right now, there, we're on a swinging bridge. The red wolf is hanging out all the way in the back of its enclosure there. Really cool pose for the American alligator. And you can see above water and below water. Like, that is such a cool pose he's in. Also, really cool design. So there's a glass panel over there to the otter exhibit. So the alligator could see the otters and vice versa underneath the water. Swimming around there, you can see the North American River Otter. Uh, fun enclosure for them, above water viewing, below water viewing, and uh, a really big area for the otters. There are a lot of kids at the zoo today, so if I was a bear, I would be doing the exact same thing. Hanging out as far away from the people as possible. They have an indoor section with a touch tank, as well as some fish. Uh, I'm definitely not going to wait in that line to do the touch tank. Yeah. There is a beautifully themed aviary, home to scarlet ibises and spoonbills. Oh, that guy with the little tiny legs over there, and a turtle. The aviary also has a couple pelicans in here. You got one swimming around and another one over here just in classic pelican pose. Well, Molly and Clay are playing with a very interesting interactive exhibit. It's a shell phone and you hit the button and you learn all about pelicans or spoonbills but all the animals that you can find in here. Now one of the cool things with any bird aviary, especially ones that they're free to fly around in, like this guy, the green jay, just hanging out on a bench. You can see the symbol of America, the bald eagle, on its perch, looking at the world. We've got a couple of sleepy mountain lions. Uh, it's interesting too, like we're now more in the deserty area of Texas, in this section of the, the exhibit. Resting peacefully in the sun is the beautiful ocelot. The ocelot has woken up. You can see a couple coyotes. I really like this one as it's, uh, it's just rolling around like a puppy. This is a bit of a stretch. The jaguar, not currently an animal native to Texas, but it was historically also asleep. I think if I had to take one of these Texas animals home with me, it would probably be this guy. It's a white-nosed Cody, and he is very active. Again, I, I really like this exhibit, and uh, Texas is a giant place. I had no idea a lot of these animals were native to Texas. 
Very, very pretty looking red tail hawk. Up next is something I probably won't enjoy too much. Insect City. Uh, Clay is showing off the pop-up, and in there is a Texas indigo snake, which you get a pretty good view from the pop-up area. Really neat exhibit in here. These are for a variety of species of hummingbirds. Of course, they fly really, really fast, and they are absolutely tiny. They're not the easiest thing to get on camera. You kind of see how big one is right over there. This colorful creature here is a eastern collared lizard. I like how his tail curls up. Yeah. There's a series of aquariums, including these little tiny guys, black spotted newts. The diamondback water snake is posing, so had to put him on camera. Natural beauty. At the end of the indoor area, there's a finale a movie place. all about Texas. Into the patchwork quilt that forms America. There's a children's ranch area where you can come and pet some goats if you want to pet some goats. Up next, my personal favorite animal in the whole wide world, the penguins. And here you can see the penguins oh and this very pretty duck who wants attention. Now these guys are rock hopper penguins. And it's very loud in here. And what's really nice, if you go outside, if you're seeing the, the Antarctic penguins, the little rock hopper guys, you come outside and there's the warm weather African penguins. Unfortunately, nobody's swimming today. I like these two chilling out behind the rock. Cameron would love those, huh? Here are the gorillas, and I like the enclosure here with the waterfall, lots of things to climb on. I'm gonna zoom in on the big male here, who is having a snack. But uh, some of the other ones are a little bit sleepy. Oh, that one, be careful there, buddy. Almost rolled off the, uh, rolled off the ledge. That looks like a very relaxed gorilla. Hanging out on his island, that is a mandrel, uh, famously Rafiki in the Lion King. He's got his own kind of playground, it's the orangutan. Something I was not expecting to find here at the world of primates is peacocks. There's a giant indoor section to the world of primates. Um, I don't see any primates in this major section, but oh, it's a really cool area. You can see the bonobos over here, including a smaller one. Very large enclosure here for two different types of animals. You got the West African crown cranes up front, and then we're going to have to use the super zoom on this one. There's a bongo all the way in the back. Up next is the Australian Outback and Great Barrier Reef. The Australian section of the zoo begins with something that's very different. Uh, the gala, which is a species of bird native to Australia. Um, not one I'm familiar with either. No. Then you head inside for a Great Barrier Reef section. And of course, for fish, no surprise they're doing the Finding Nemo thing with the, the clownfish and the blue tang. The blue tang's very active and very pretty. Yes. Big. Yeah, cool. Another tank here with larger fish and coral. Clay, you brought up a good point. It's smart the way they did this. So there's a layer of glass here, and then the actual enclosure is set up about a foot or so. So that way if kids are going to bang on the glass, it's not going to affect the fish. Don't bang on the glass. Now you can't have an Australia section of a zoo without having some kangaroos. Uh, there are only two out right now, which is interesting because a lot of zoos, they'll have a, 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 a large ton. number of kangaroos. Digging around over there, that's an Australian brush turkey. Another animal I don't know if I've seen before, but it's really neat. Look at the gobbler. This is a lesser bird of paradise with that amazing tail. It's gorgeous. Yeah, also something I found very interesting. This enclosure was built as part of someone's Eagle Scout project. The next exhibit is the Museum of Living Art. I home love to, the sign. Yeah, home to reptiles, amphibians, and more. 
There is lots and lots of room for the algebra giant tortoises to roam very, very slowly. This is an animal that's not in a lot of zoos. This is a saltwater crocodile. This is the largest species of either alligator or crocodile. These guys can get very, very big. The second view of the saltwater crocodile. That's, that's a big, big boy. We just passed by the saltwater crocodile again, and he actually moved. He's swimming around very, very slowly. The, we caught the saltwater crocodile moving around a little bit. I think it seems to be uh, coming to a rest now. Really? That was a really cool to see it moving around. In the front of the zoo, there is a food court restaurant area. But what's really cool about it, it's built into the exhibits. So you could be hanging out here, having your vastly mediocre zoo burger, and just watch these burials. All right, time to grab the awesomely themed snake handles and head inside the Museum of Living Art. Look at the size of the Burmese python. Oh my. The Museum of Living Art does have a lot of smaller enclosures for reptiles and amphibians. I'm not gonna show off everything in here because it would take absolutely forever. But it's, it's pretty well done. colorful animal is a Philippine tree skink. A little tricky to see, but over there is one of the most famous snakes anywhere. That's the King Cobra. Swimming around is a West African dwarf crocodile. Uh, pretty fun. Normally you don't get to see a lot of times crocodile or alligator species. Um, you don't really get to see them moving around a lot in the zoo. So to get to see him moving around, it's really neat. Looks like he's coming right over to us. Oh, he's, is he gonna float on by? I don't know, look at that mug. Oh, he is floating right, oh, that's so cool. A very nice aquarium here. These are some famous South American fish like the Paku and the Arowana. Now, Clay, you said this guy, and I totally agree, looks like a dinosaur. It's the Filipino sailfin dragon. So this is Lemur Island. Unfortunately, I don't see any lemurs, but there's so many baby ducks. Baby ducks have taken over Lemur Island. With the power of cuteness. Look how many baby ducks there are. Just sleeping here is the Komodo dragon. It's cold outside for him, so he's laying in an indoor habitat. Let's head on into Raptor Canyon. Right next to the sign, you can see this one hanging out. The king vulture is right up at the edge of the enclosure. Very colorful. Couple beautiful toucans. Looking straight out of the old Guinness advertisements. Uh, I guess they're not fans of Guinness. So something that's good and bad is that right now in the middle of the zoo, there is a giant construction location. They're building a brand new, I think it's like Hunters of Africa and Asian Predators exhibit for things like lions and tigers, African wild dogs, cheetahs. It looks giant. Yes, it's a very, very big project. And uh, when it's done, knowing this zoo, it's going to be very, very nice. But unfortunately for our visit, that means also we won't be able to see the lions and the tigers. But I love to see zoos reinvest, especially this one. It's not that expensive to come in here. I think we paid like $18. And uh, yeah, it's very crowded. And it's but opening in 2023? Yep. This animal here, these are lesser flamingos. Not one you see in a ton of uh, zoos. Uh, they have a whole bunch of them, including a couple, <laughs> a couple of little ones. And it makes sense that uh, a whole bunch of local ducks also enjoy living over here. Quack, quack. <laughs> oh. quack, quack. <laughs> yeah. The white necked raven, a pair of them, and one carrying some sticks. Not anymore. Just off the main path, you have some saddlebill storks, as well as some guinea fowl. 
love this outside of the Zoo Creek Cafe. They've got like a an alligator you could ride like outside the grocery store or something. Out of all the birds at the zoo, that might have the best name, the Buff Crested Bustard. A beautiful Ryan Sith macaw hanging out up there. It's a wonderful, tranquil area with waterfalls and rivers. And then you've got a couple macaws, especially one very colorful one over there. And that'll do it for our time here at the Fort Worth Zoo. I really enjoyed it. We were here for about three hours. It cost about, about $17, $18 to get into, so a very, very reasonable price zoo. Now, guys, this is normally where I ask, what was your favorite animal? But I'm not going to do that because it would all be Brazos. But what was your second favorite animal we saw today? Oh. I think uh, for me, it, it might have been the Cody. He was really, really cool. And I also like that rabbit. Uh, yeah, this is an easy answer, but that rabbit was really adorable. The lion head rabbit? Yeah. yeah he was really fluffy. Yeah, yeah those are both really good animals. Um, a couple other things about the zoo. I loved a lot of it. The, the new elephant exhibit was great. Can't wait to see what they do with that, that Hunters of Asia exhibit. The Texas section was fantastic. And it's, overall, it's a really, really nice zoo. Yeah. If you have any questions about the Fort Worth Zoo, let me know in the comments section below. And thank you very much for watching this video.